Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Felicity here. This video is for those who are looking for a life partner and who have been making a lot of efforts into looking for love and yes, still uh, you may not see love blossom or still the relationship is not working. And uh, the reason why I'm making this video is that I see a lot of successful, intelligent, highly educated women who try their best to make relationship work or to find love and yet still uh, they do not see any kind of rewards. And the reason is that uh, you may have been putting the efforts into the places where you shouldn't be putting effort into. Oftentimes, this has something to do with your thought pattern. Uh, you see a lot of successful, highly educated women are used to think that everything is possible as long as they make efforts. It's because uh, from the very beginning of your education and you study hard and you put a lot of efforts into studying and then you see your grades uh, going up and then uh, you graduate with uh, really good uh, academic results and at work in your career uh, you put a lot of time energy and efforts into your work and career and then finally you gain recognition and you see the results and then this way slowly and slowly you think that everything is possible when you put time, energy and efforts into making things work. And so in relationship you might unconsciously uh, put uh, the efforts, time and energy into making relationship work or uh, trying to find love. And it's because you feel that everything is under your control. Um, nothing is impossible because at work uh, in your academic uh, research and you already see the results and so you believe that uh, by following the same method or following the same mode you'll be able to uh, succeed in your love life and uh, the reason um, the result may not be the same um, the reason is that uh, you might have been putting the efforts in the wrong places or situation or the wrong people. Um, for example, I feel that there are um, some situation uh, that you should not be putting effort into. I will give uh, a few examples here. The first example is that um, for emotionally or physically unavailable man, you should not be putting effort into that. The reason why is because um, they are not ready to have a relationship to begin with. And uh, for physically unavailable men, for married men, for men who are already in a relationship already, and it's no use putting efforts into that. It's no use to try to get the man out of their marriage or out of their relationship. If you feel that way, you have to ask yourself why you feel that you should uh, help the man to get themselves out of a relationship. Is it because of the competition? Is it because of um, you feel that you deserve more than the other women. So think about the main reason why you feel that you need to fight for the man, why you feel that you need to win in this kind of situation, all right? The second example is that uh, when the man's core value uh, doesn't uh, resonate with you, doesn't uh, have the same um, core value as yours, it's time to step back, it's time to let go. Uh, for example, uh, when you see that the men are not used to dating exclusively, maybe they jump from uh, one woman to another woman, maybe they are used to uh, date a lot of women, maybe they are used to having a lot of women in their life, and it's time to let go, it's time to step back. 
um, if you feel that okay, you can win. Uh, love can con conquer everything. Love can change the man. Then you just uh, set yourself up to uh, to disappointment. It's because um, when a man's core value, when a man's uh, inner uh, personality is set up like that, and you cannot change it, even though the man may uh, have some part of uh, the love for you, they are not able to change their personality unless they have enough self-esteem or they have enough self-love for themselves in order to make a change. You are not powerful enough to change someone. This is true. Please accept that. It's because uh, normally, you know, in movie or in some kind of fantasy, normally you feel that, okay, love can conquer anything. Love can uh, be very powerful enough to change anything. Love can change a person. Yes, maybe in some certain degree yes it may be true but remember that in order for someone to change they are normally they are not changing for love they are not changing for someone they are changing for themselves in order for someone to change they have to have enough self-love for themselves in order to for them to make a change all right so whenever you see the man's core value doesn't really um, cooperate with your own core value, it's time to let go. All right? Do not feel that, okay, love can conquer, love can be like this and that. All right? Another example that I would like to give you is that um, whenever uh, a man tells you that uh, you can be just his friend, accept it. If you feel that you have been friend zoned, whenever a, a man tells you that, okay, we are just friends, I feel that you are my best friend, accept that. Accept that uh, there's uh, uh, nothing else. Uh, maybe there's a pure friendship between the two of you. Um, maybe that's it, alright? So do not try to talk yourself into something like, okay, uh, a love, uh, a relationship begins with a friendship. We have a friendship as a base. And I feel that we can be something more. Forget about it. Accept that, okay, uh, this is your best friend. And, and if there's something more, if later on um, there's a, some, there is something changed uh, in, in the friendship, maybe uh, slowly uh, uh, friendship can turn into a relationship if there needs to be some change the universe or the man or you the, the two souls will make a change for the both of you you do not need to push things forward there's nothing that you can do there's nothing else you need to do in order to push this friendship into something more all right so let go of this control if there needs to be something more, the universe or God can make things happen for you. You just need to relax. You do not need to put effort and push things forward, all right? And so these are just the examples that I can think of. There are a lot of examples. The main thing you need to look into whether you should put effort into uh, making things work is to see whether the man is also making efforts okay uh, I will give you an example for example uh, both of you are very busy and then you you are very busy still you and your man you and your boyfriend or your partner make efforts to change some schedules maybe to address some working schedule in order to see you in order to see each other and that is making effort but at the same time you have to make sure that the schedule is not fixed if you see someone who have a fixed schedule and when you need the man to be there for you or example uh, you are very sick and you would like to uh, uh, you need help from the man when you are sick and then if the man tells you that he cannot change a schedule for you 
for some kind of emergency then that is a sign that uh, the man may be having an affair maybe the man has someone else already that is why he has to have a very fixed unchangeable schedule all right so this is just an example another example I can give you is that maybe both of you are in love but then the authority maybe your parents maybe both of your parents are against this kind of a relationship for some for whatever reason all right they are against it then you and your boyfriend or your partner make tremendous progress make tremendous um, um, adjustment or or they, they they are very strong and then they you both of you make tremendous uh, efforts into uh, making this relationship work into standing firm for both of you to uh, defend your relationship even though the the authority even though the parents may have some kind of uh, uh, disagreements in the both of you having the relationship together all right and this is the relationship that worth your efforts whenever you see the man is not making an effort and it's just you making the effort then it's time to step back then it's time to let go okay of course at the beginning you can voice out you can tell the man what you need all right and then hopefully the man will make some adjustment to cooperate with you to make some efforts but when you voice out and then you still do not see the man making any kind of efforts it's time to let go because that is the imbalance in a relationship if it is just you giving and giving and there's no point in keeping this kind of relationship going on all right okay and a lot of ladies because you are very successful you are very intelligent in your career in your academic uh, studies and there's an illusion that yes I can I can conquer anything yes I can make things work yes I can overcome these challenges and that is why you 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 know you think about a lot of things you can go far a lot far for love some of you just perfect your your techniques in bed some of you sacrifice a lot some of you make a lot of efforts and still you do not see the results and then when you do not see the results and you end up resenting the man and you end up very having a lot of anger towards men but you have to understand that in, at the first place you forget about seeing and checking whether you should put efforts into that or not all right it's yes it it sounds very calculating but a certain degree of calculating should be put into your thinking process it's because um, when you put efforts and you do not see the results sooner or later you resent the man you have a lot of resentment and at the same time you you have a lot of anger within you all right so um, whenever you feel like you should fight for love ask yourself this question is it because fear first thing I can think of is because you have fear you are afraid of being alone you are afraid of being alone for the rest of life your life maybe you are really worried you see a lot of your friends are getting married settling down and you have this kind of fear you are fearing that okay if I do not fight for love if I do not push things forward if I do not change the man if I do not uh, make things or do this or do that I will end up being alone maybe you have this fear all right and second thing is that um, maybe you already know that the man is not in love with you maybe you know that already notice that the man doesn't really care about this relationship or the man doesn't really care about you that is why you feel that you have to make extremely hard effort and then make things work all right so and and that already tells you it's it's not worth putting effort into situation into certain people all right and um i can tell you that in the next video um all you have to do is to get yourself ready 
and then you are able to um, meet a man who is ready. I can tell you that when a man who is ready, who sees a woman that is suitable for him, he will do a lot of things. He will make a lot of efforts into making things work, into uh, taking initiative to do things for you, to make things happen for both of you, all right? Um, when a man is re ready to settle down, he will notice the woman that is suitable for him, and then he will make effort. And um, for example, um, when the man is ready, he will take action, and then uh, it, it's like he will say, okay, I have this kind of plan, and I have this plan for both of us, and what do you think? And he will ask for your opinions and, and then see if you have something to add. At the same time, uh, and see if there's some kind of adjustment that need to be made in the plan, all right? The man who is ready will, will plan things for both of you, will take initiation. You do not need to worry and ask when the two of you will, will get married or whether this is your soulmate or whether this is your future husband or not. Because the man will already uh, take initiation, will take action and also as well as uh, uh, keeping a promise when, when he's ready and he will say things to you, he will make a promise and he, he will keep a promise and he will take action as well and he will have a plan in his own mind without you asking or better yet he will ask for your opinions and see if there's something to address or see if there's something that you need to add into the plan all right and this is the man that is ready and once you realize this once you have experienced this kind of a uh, treatment from a man you cannot go back seriously and you will think that, okay, you will look back and think, what was I thinking? Why was I putting a lot of efforts into making things work? And that is the time that you realize that all the past relationship or all the past um, so-called uh, partnership is just the lessons that you need to learn to arrive at this realization that to see clearly uh, when a man is ready or not, all right? Um, and also, yes, um, when a man has a plan and asks for you, for your opinion, and of course, uh, you have to see that uh, whether uh, the man is very fixed on the plan or not. You know, sometimes the man is very fixed and he will be like dominant and he will be like, uh, okay, this is the, the good thing for you. I think this is the thing that you should do. I think this is the plan that is good for me and you. And if uh, the man is too dominant, that is may not be a good sign. Because um, when the man is too dominant, then you will feel that uh, you will not have the certain freedom to express yourself. And then later on, you will feel a lot of restriction and you will feel that you're not being respected so um, you, you, you would like to find a man who has a plan for both of you but the plan should not be fixed uh, the man needs to be, have a certain type of uh, flexibility in himself and to show that he is a respect he, he respect your opinions and also he's flexible enough to respect the women that uh, he cherish in order to adapt, to change, to adjust, and, and to add something that add your opinions into his opinions or into his plan or into the plans that he set up for the both of you, all right? And so, um, I hope that you understand this, um, this kind of uh, realization. Uh, I hope you understand this information. And ladies, it's time to stop taking control. It's time to let go of control. And um, all you have to do is to get yourself ready in order to attract someone who is ready for you, all right? And uh, in the next video, I'm gonna talk about how to get yourself ready in order to attract a man who is ready to settle down with you. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next video, bye.